I like how they don't react to it, just a laser being shown in their eyes. So this is why that dude dropped a magnum for sure. Ooh, do I even want it to like penetrate? Oh. Nope, damn. So could I could I have left there? Like if I shot them and you know like left as long as you don't actually move around too quickly. So I just need to kill these guys as soon as possible. And then use my magnum on. My god, you're a dick. I almost get the impression that like I don't know I don't know quite what triggers those guys. Like they almost seem to like just start swinging when they just hear shooting. And I feel like if that's the case, that'd be very deliberate. Or maybe like I just if I hit them like like they'll start swinging. All right, magnum time. Do not be a dick. Kind of you. Hmm. Oh wait, can I... Is there like something over here I was supposed to notice, like to loop behind him? That must be it, right? To make this somewhat manageable. Okay. So, let me pull out the shotgun, I think is a by far the best choice. Reload it. Take that guy out. God damn, these guys are just wasting so much ammo. This guy's gonna... Yep. Yep. This is gonna be annoying. I can just tell. It's like I kind of get it. I just don't quite know how these guys work. Like, there's the bells, but I can only use the bells once. And I think the idea is maybe you shoot the bell, they both run. And then... I don't know. Oh, now I want to do. See, I'm wondering if I can do that. Or do they? Are they gonna come out? Or am I gonna walk back and they're right in there? The question is gonna be if I kill one of these guys, does it reset the encounter? Because I'm guessing it will. Like you have to be in there and do all this. Because otherwise, it seems like this is such a good strategy. Yeah. I guess I can. So, I don't know if there's fall off on this. Hmm. Let me try. I'm going to quickly shoot that bell. Because otherwise, they'll probably just stand there. Now, here's the question. I think that might not be the best call, though, because I think anyone alive probably regains their health. So I get, like, the one free one, but... Until I kill those guys. And then one to... So does the hallway only go, like, halfway? I guess? Hmm. And the one on the right has, like, armor. See, I don't get it. Like, there I'm walking. So how do they notice me? Like, what's the... I just don't get what the trigger is. Like, there. Like, fuck that. Like, sometimes they just... They seem to follow me, like, perfectly. So, it's almost like it's not based off sound and I'm entirely just, like, wrong.
Like, why does Leon just like sometimes just like freak out? So I think though, if they like do their little thing, then they they'll usually just start walking and looking. He has eyes. He has eyes. So maybe that's why. God damn. See, I just don't know. Like, so then can that guy see me? Do I just not see that his eyes are tied? Like, is it only that one boss that was blind and I'm... If, if that whole... If that boss was the only one that's blind, what's the point of the bell? Because they both react to the bell. It's like they... They can almost see me? Oh, I got a checkpoint there. Or do I do reduced damage? Like, maybe I should just be shooting them in the face and... Done for that. That's what Evil with turned in, like... I was sneaking way too much, and then I was like, oh, I should just kill everything, and then it worked out way better. So, assuming it's like last time, they're still following me. See, I wish I had saved the grenade for right here. God damn. It's just like so awkward. Take that. That's pretty helpful right now. Like I know how to beat them, I just don't know how to get them to actually reliably turn. So there's a second bell? That's useful at least. So I think maybe I just have to like walk out, because they, ex they do expose it for a little while. I think I just have to be way more aggressive about it. No, oh, yeah, his eyes are tight shut. God, like the worst thing that can happen is them getting separated. God. Gonna hit me again. Gotta hit the second one. See, I don't even, I guess I do know the revolver does way more damage. I do know that. I think I was like, oh, I don't even know if it's actually particularly that good. Oh, so that's a thing. Can I just. Alright, so I think maybe I might understand a little bit more. Did I not hit you? That is effective. Hmm. Where even is the laser? I guess... I guess there is a nub for the laser on the very right of the gun. God, if I was just like quicker, I don't think I'm actually hitting it. God damn. Or maybe you're, like, there, you're meant to actually just do massive amounts of damage and he stumbles. Like that, too. Like, maybe I'm entirely misreading that. There we go. Hmm. I just don't understand these guys. I'm really curious to know if, like, there's an actual strategy. Can I hit these, like... Because they destroy the bells when you hit them, so... That's only one time use. Or even... They can actually latch onto those things, but I don't understand how you can like consistently trigger that. Because I was standing next to it, and even then, it's just like... They always just seem to miss and hit everything that isn't that. Alright, let me get these pots. So I have three left. That's good, that also freed me up of some other stuff. 
I don't mind that they make me like go back in the menu to reload, but I wish I could just say like reload all, and then you take the time, like I'll still sit there so I'm not doing it during the an actual fight. But that way so I don't have to like constantly pull out every gun and do all this menuing. Like you can still do that and it'll be faster, but just don't necessarily make me do it. Cause if I wasn't recording this, generally what I would do in a game like that is I would love to be able to say like, reload all, I'll go to the bathroom, I know I'm safe right now. That kind of thing. Just because I know there's plenty of fights where I'm sure since the fact that you can't... Ooh. Can I just take this? The fact that you can't... Um, rather, switching guns is faster than reloading. Because you just go in the menu for switching. I feel like it's very likely... Am I going to miss a treasure? It's very likely that on the higher difficulties and the tougher fights, you probably all the time end the game with... What did I not... Oh, is that... Was that the hive room? How did you get out there? Oh, that's gotta be what that is, right? Yeah, the merchant. That... That's gotta be what that was. But yeah, all the time I'm sure you end a level or some kind of encounter with just, oh, I don't know, 50% of every gunshot. Ashley. Mr. Kennedy, don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? No! Leon! <laughs> hmm, where's the satisfying sound of one's impalement? Don't fall for this old trick. So are those supposed to be bugs, actually? I, thought, I assume they're just like the uh, demented humans, but I guess those are meant to be the bugs. Right? Looking at their hands now. So maybe you have nine lives, but it doesn't matter now, Mr. Kennedy. I've sent my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off? Hm. Say whatever you please. So one of these guys got to be alive, right? And I assume that's just them dumping corpses. Like he has—he doesn't actually have any reason to kill his own followers, right? So is this where he gets his stuff? Please, yes. More magnum ammo. Cut. I really want to see a game that just like always is just tied to people's like OCD. Like when I picked up that ammo, I just wondered like how crazy it would be if the game was actually like gave you one more bullet than what your gun could hold. So if I had three shots missing, it would give always give me four. But then also that would work out because then if you used up all your ammo, you would get more. So it's balanced. <laughs> but at the same time, if you always had like just stacks and stacks, like one single shot, how annoying would that be as a player? So I'm gonna equip this for now. <laughs> Give me your incendiary grenade right next to your typewriter. Okay. Why is that? Okay, I guess they all. I guess they all are kind of solid. Welcome. So I still don't know. Like, I originally assumed that was the same guy, but I feel like. I feel like that's probably not the same guy. Or honestly, like, my guess is obviously... Oh, two divots. Can I, ex can I examine it? Hmm. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that what the gems were for? Like that I was getting? And maybe Thank if you have to get the right combination in? Because that's what it was with the butterfly stuff before, too. It's like, I could put any color in, but I felt like there was a meaning and it would like open up if you got the right combination. Is that all? <laughs> or maybe it's just worth more. Is that all? <laughs> Thank come back. Why do I do that? What are you buying? I guess he's only gonna have like a new first aid. No? Then what was new? The striker. 
Which I, it's not that stone shocker. Oh, well, obviously I'm buying that. Is that all, stranger? No. Hold up. What are you buying? But is that better than the riot gun? So just at the base, right? Because I've upgraded mine. It is slightly better. Faster firing. Does it hold more? It definitely does. I think I do want this. I think, honestly, I want every weapon upgrade. If I understand right. So, sell this riot gun after I spent so much money. I hope it accounts for that, like, really well. That it doesn't, like hurt you for trying out like upgrades because otherwise then I feel really confident about never actually buying like capacity upgrades and whatnot. Ooh, I'd like the extra space though. Hmm. I'm tempted to sell these two just because yeah. Hmm. Because I got two shots and I, I guess I'm really not wanting for space and I could collapse those. I'd probably be better off selling the TMP or something first. Or even like if I'm not going to use the TMP for like sniping anymore, I bet I could get away with selling the stock. But I like it, so maybe not. Hmm. With the extra large case, if I, you know, have a pretty good supply of ammo, maybe it'd be, it might be worth it to buy, you know, more handguns. What are you buying? Hmm. I have a lot of money. Which I guess I should definitely start pouring into that, yeah. Hmm. There's just so much about this game, like, I just wish I knew. You know, like, there's, like, I'm sure someone out there screaming, like, of course, get the mine layer, because it's going to destroy those two guy, Wolverine guys. You know, they just walk into it or something. Or you can toss a grenade somewhere and then trigger a cutscene and you just beat a boss fight. Hmm. Like here, it's like, it adds two shots. But when the power is already 15... Is that two shots ever going to matter unless I'm literally sinking all six shots into one enemy? I just don't know. It's like, it may matter a lot. Like, that may be the exact amount. Like, the next boss has 16 health. Just clearly, like, there's room for really understanding this game. But since I don't know what's coming up, it's it's hard to make these calls. Also, I have no idea how long this game is. I thought I looked up it's like 17 hours, maybe? I'll have to look this up on uh, Time to Beat because... One of the downsides I learned of doing these big batch recordings is I only have a 3 terabyte hard drive, which isn't much, but when I have to make these recordings with this recording of me, and then both of them gets converted to a new recording that right now the only thing I have makes it massive in the file size, you very really quickly run out in addition to all the other stuff I have. So I'm gonna, I kind of, in a weird way, I'm kind of hoping it ends or goes somewhere just because, oh god, I'm running out of space. I get it. So we're gonna run here. Can I get the treasure first? Yeah. So it's coming behind me, right? It saw me climb up the ladder. And I don't think it's gonna be on the ceiling, so I'm gonna hear it coming in the water. In theory, if this game's. The game has been consistent so far about that. Hmm. Was I meant to fight that? Is that a license plate? I feel like that's important that I see that. But... Oh. I think I know exactly what this is. Is this the alligator? This is the alligator, I think. Especially with everything pointing to that door. If it is, I feel like I'd want to see it. This is definitely a boss room, right? Like, I'm going to fight it around that. I want to. It's a liquid nitrogen tank. Can I shoot it? Nope. Oh, God. That's a thing. It's obviously directing me to go somewhere, but...
Leon obviously uh, took some chemistry if he knows, right? LN2. Liquid nitrogen to it. Into, yeah, that's nitrogen. 